I feel like it's so hard to find good jewelry these days because everyone tells you like shop this brand it's so good like this and that and it's just like does that stuff actually work does it actually last for a long time like those are the questions that i have when i'm looking for jewelry so today i'm going to show you guys some of my favorites for my jewelry out of my jewelry collection and i'm going to show you not only like new favorites but i'm also going to show you guys the pieces that i've had for literal years that i've put in water that i have just worn time and time and time again and the pieces that you're going to want to invest in and the affordable pieces that are also really good to add to your collection so if you guys are new and like videos like this be sure to subscribe because I upload videos <laughs> three times a week on Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays and yeah let's get into this video I'm really excited for this one because I feel like so many of you are gonna really benefit from this one <laughs> before I go through each individual piece of jewelry I'm only gonna go through like probably like five or seven maybe ten because I don't want to like overwhelm me with like too much jewelry you know but before I go through the jewelry I want to show you my jewelry box now I feel like videos like this can make you think that you need to buy like a ton more jewelry but if you have like a couple staple pieces you really don't need that many pieces of jewelry and i feel like when you have a jewelry box like this it makes you realize how much jewelry you actually have believe it or not i literally like there's three compartments in this thing and the last compartment isn't like really full because it's mostly rings but I actually, like before I got this jewelry box, I thought I needed like a ton more jewelry. I was like, I don't have enough. Like I always wear the same things. Like I just don't have like good stuff. Then I got this jewelry box and realized that I have so much freaking jewelry in here that I literally like kind of forgot about. And so um, this top part, I keep all of my necklaces and like a couple bracelets in. And then this compartment, I keep my like earrings in. And then this bottom part, I keep my um, rings in, which I don't have very many of those i just have like a couple staple rings um just because i feel like i i don't know i'm not a huge ring person wow that's literally um dog hair in there cool but yeah so i just wanted to give you guys this little like tip if you guys are feeling like you don't have enough jewelry definitely invest in a jewelry box this one was from amazon so it's so affordable i'll link it below so you guys can pick it up for yourself <laughs> so the first necklace i'm going to talk about is this one from miranda fry now this necklace i'm obsessed with like and I know people use the term obsessed loosely but like I really am I wear this necklace so much like probably every other day I'm either wearing this necklace or the one that is on right now um, these are actually both from Miranda Fry this is actually sold out on their website but it still I think is available on Revolve so I'll link it below but one thing about Miranda Fry and I'm just saying this literally because I feel like it's so hard to find good brands that last a long time their pieces last this like piece is so heavy I wish I could like I don't know like help you feel how heavy it is through the video but it's like extremely heavy such good quality i have swam with this i've showered with this i've worked out with this and it still is in incredible condition along with this necklace this one is also sold out um but i will um i think the gold is sold out but the silver is still available but these are both from miranda fry and so that's um just an indicator of how incredible their brand is i do have a code i got like a code from them like literally years ago um because like their pieces are really good but i haven't like worked with them on a sponsored basis or anything it's literally a code just for you guys and honestly i use it for myself whenever i buy pieces too um but i really really love their pieces they're so thick they're so heavy um and i feel like i haven't really stepped out into new brands that have really like thick hardy heavy material because theirs are just so good it's like why I try something new um so yeah this necklace from there it's called the brooklyn necklace they have it on revolve and this one is i'm pretty sure still on brook um wow not brooklyn and wow what the heck <laughs> is still on miranda fry's um website and it is um it's available in the silver tone i think so yeah these i'd say are my most worn necklaces for sure because they're really thick and heavy and i can do anything in them and i don't have to worry about them messing up um also another thing to remember is if you invest in pieces you um are gonna wear a lot it really makes your investment worth it i'm pretty sure this was like a hundred dollars and this one was like i think right at a hundred and with a discount you get like 15 i think 15 percent off um and i wear these literally every other day so like i bought these years ago like two or three years and it just 
makes it so worth it. So let's get into the next piece that I wear like all the time. I know you guys are gonna love this one too. So all the other pieces I've shown you guys have had for years. This is probably my newest pair of earrings and it is from Studs. Um, these are really nice earrings. I really like um, how the shape is really different. It's really unique. Um, I'm gonna see if I can focus, there we go. It reminds me of like what my literal mother would have worn like back in the day. Um, they're kind of like, I don't know, they look vintage a bit. Like I just really like them a lot. Um, and I also really like how like bright gold they are. I feel like sometimes it's hard to find jewelry that's like bright gold. I will say they do have um, a back that is not like the straight back like I was telling you guys. It kind of like moves a bit, like it goes up and down. So it does take a little bit more time to put it into your ear, but it's not like too taxing, but that's just something to definitely think about. Um, but I think the design overall makes it um, just so worth it. Um, like I said, it's a very, um, I don't know, it's very, very gold. It's not like a muted gold, which I like because I wear um, a lot of muted gold, but I also gravitate towards like really, really like gold bright tone as well. And this is more of that. Also, these are really affordable as well, and I love finding something that's really affordable. <laughs> this next piece, I don't actually know if it's available, but the piece I'm wearing, I'm like 99% sure it is. This is from Nikki Designs, it's a small business. I love supporting small businesses, and actually, I think. Every business that I've talked about has like been like a smaller size business. Like it's not like Target or like Walmart or whatever. Um, I am going to show you guys some Amazon pieces at some point though. But um, that is uh, the Mel Ring and it's from this brand. Don't know if this is available, but I just wanted to show you that. So what I really want to show you from this brand that I wear every single week, like probably every other day, sometimes every day, like it really just depends on my mood, is this necklace. It is a little difficult to get off because it's so dainty. I wear a lot of necklaces that are really chunky because I find that like with long nails, it's just easier to get them off. But the reason why I love this necklace so much is because of how dainty it is. It pairs really well with necklaces. Um, and I think that when you're wearing like a really chunky necklace, you definitely need to have something that's like less chunky to kind of balance it out. Of course, I literally can't get this off. Like it does take a minute to get off. There we go. Um, so this is a necklace right here. It's very, very movable. You can see um, it just like moves really well. Um, it's a really nice shiny gold. I love, 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 love this necklace. Um, like it's so dainty, but it's such a good like layering necklace. Like if you look at this necklace, it's like, okay, it's cute, but like this, like this pulls it together. Like it makes it like a look, you know? And I almost always wear this necklace because it's just a good layering piece. I don't normally wear it by itself, but I wear it almost every single day with like every necklace because it layers so well. Um, I think when you're wearing jewelry, layering is a really good way to make your um, jewelry really, I don't know, put together. Um, and if you don't layer, it kind of looks like it's just missing something. So having a necklace like this that goes with everything is just like, I don't know, what you need in your life. This brand is one of my absolute favorite jewelry brands. And I think a big part of it is because if you follow them on Instagram, the owner really shows the back end of what it's like to have a small, a small woman run business. I feel like as someone who's not a business owner of like a brick and mortar or of like a product, um, I really enjoy seeing how much like of their heart, soul and passion they put into their pieces. So I really like that. And also of course the pieces are incredible. I can only show you one earring because I wear this earring so much that literally I have lost it. Like I take it on every vacation. Um, I take it with me everywhere. It's kind of similar to um, some of the other pieces I've shown you with like the crisscross detail in the front. But I think the biggest difference is it is a like hoop. And you can see that there. Um, it's just like a little teeny tiny dainty hoop, which I love. I'm going to buy this again. I wish there were a way to just buy like one earring instead of two, but I probably like knowing myself will probably lose this one. So I might as well just go and like buy two. Um, but I love this earring because it also has the straight back, which is what I've talked about with some of the other earrings. It makes it so easy to get it in because as you're putting your earring into your ear, the back isn't like moving up or down. It's just like straight. Um, also the quality of this earring is really good. Um, and I feel like this is also a really affordable brand. I think out of all these brands, the most affordable are probably 
Clarissa Lee jewelry and which is the black owned business that I shared and then this one which is Elizabeth um, Lynn. I feel like they um, not only give good quality but they also give an incredible price as well. Next necklace that I got is definitely more on the price here in for sure and it is from Adidas Jewels. It is a really thick heavy necklace. Um, you can see it's like pretty movable um, and it has like that I don't know if you look really close up, there's like that ridging in the inside, which I think looks really cool. Um, it is also a another nice layering necklace. I wear that with this necklace quite often. Um, you can see how it layers. It just, I don't usually wear all three, but like I'll usually wear um, two of them. I think it's a good length. Um, I will say this is definitely, definitely, definitely pricier. I actually got this necklace at a really good discount because um, Whenever I bought my YSL bag, they gave me like, I think it was like a kickback for Neiman Marcus because that's where I bought it from. I bought it around the holidays and I want to say they gave me like a couple, like $100 or like 150 or something from there. Um, and that's where I'm pretty sure I bought this or maybe it was like Saks or something. But like I remember I got a kickback and I was like, okay, I'm going to try like a new brand. I'm going to try Adidas Jewels and that's where I got this necklace. So it's definitely really good quality. I will say it's definitely pricier. I think it would make a really good gift for someone. I even think that this could be a really good men's necklace um, as well because it's just very like plain. Um, it's nothing like too crazy. But it definitely is on the more expensive end. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to buy a piece of jewelry for yourself. But it also is really good quality. <laughs> the next two necklaces are from Boutique Second Life. And it's actually where I get a lot of my designer jewelry. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, I feel like people always ask me like, where do you get your necklaces? Like, oh, you have a Chanel necklace. Like, oh, you have like a Louis Vuitton. And like this one's a Louis Vuitton necklace and it has like a little chain in the front. I have it crisscross there. Um, and then the other necklace is a Chanel necklace. And this one, I'm pretty sure I paid $300 for this. And this one, I wanna say I paid like 200. And that's a designer necklace. What's cool about this um, business is Everything that they like share on their Instagram or TikTok or whatever, they show you like exactly how they make each piece. So this lock was actually on a Louis Vuitton bag and then they paired it with a chain and that is how you are able to get like the pieces that you see today. Um, this one is the same way. This was on like a little like locket, I'm pretty sure. Um, and when you look at it, it's just so stunning. It has like the CC on it, which is for Chanel obviously. And it has like a really dainty necklace. I wear this one a lot for like big events and things because it is so dainty. I mean, you can see like, it's just, so tiny um but i really love it i feel like it's great for events whenever i want to dress up and like look really cute um and i get a lot of my designer necklaces from there because it's really hard to pay the price for designer pieces but i love the aspect of having something that's designer that I can pass down to either a niece or a nephew um or just someone who really appreciates jewelry and i feel like when you buy designer pieces you just know that they're going to be something that people will want for the rest of time so um i just love this brand and i feel like it's a great way to get designer pieces but at a really affordable price the last piece i'm going to show you is from amazon and i will put a picture here because it is still in my bag I still haven't unpacked from the trip that I went on last week and I literally go on another trip this weekend but um I unpacked like most of my clothes but I didn't unpack like all of my jewelry this ring I feel like I travel with a lot because since it's from Amazon I don't worry too much about it getting like lost or stolen or anything because it's literally from Amazon um one thing about Amazon pieces is if something is lost or stolen you can always buy it again whereas with other brands a lot of the time they go out of stock so you can't like buy the exact Exact same piece again you can usually buy something sim similar but not the exact same piece so that's definitely something to keep in mind whenever you are purchasing your pieces and taking things with you when you travel um, I feel like I usually travel with like my Amazon pieces or if I have a piece that's like really similar from one brand I will um, bring another piece with me that maybe isn't necessarily my absolute favorite but um, it's very similar to another piece that I own if that makes sense so 
yeah um that's all that i have to share i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want me to show you like my entire jewelry collection i have tons of pieces that i love tons of pieces that i'm not a fan of anymore and tons of pieces that have tarnished as well over time none of the pieces that i don't love or like are tarnished are in this video these are literally my like jewelry favorites that i wear every single day like every single week and so i hope you guys find a lot of really good pieces for your collection and yeah comment below which piece is your favorite i would love to know i'll see you guys in my next one i love you all so much and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> bye guys